Like many individuals, I too have been enjoying Helldivers 2. I'm not going to pretend it's my game of the year, like a lot of people said. Don't get me wrong, I've had my fair share of fun with it. I think what they managed to do uh, is create a really fun shooter. To put it simply, it's, gr it's great to finally remind myself, oh, I do have a couple friends who don't mind playing video games with me. But PlayStation fudged up. As usual, they really screwed the pooch here. And, uh, well, now they're reaping what they sow. They basically blocked it in several countries and forced people to uh, set up a PSN account and obviously countries that don't have PlayStation. PlayStation network links or whatever you may have you got kicked and said well you can't play the game even though they bought it so just like hell divers had been teaching us to stand strong and play together well as a team hell divers community fought by refunds galore the reviews changed from uh well they were overwhelmingly positive they then went from mixed to mostly negative that i think they really received like 50,000 negative reviews crazy i mean here you can see it in action you know you get a few negative reviews wow, 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 wow. straight away gone bro negative negative mix jesus christ Jason board. So just like the game taught us though, it's about standing together to fight evil corporations such as alien monsters from outer space or that sit in boardrooms tossing each other up, eating fucking Doritos or whatever they do in their spare time. I just picture these guys in boardrooms like all curling their hair while they have these little Asian ladies fucking clipping their toenails and they just sit there like, so how should we screw the pooch today? Well, everyone loves our fucking game. We've made it amazing. It really is one of the greatest shooters in the past, you know, five years probably and everyone's loving it. Well, how about we make it so we restrict play accounts, uh, restrict access, but also, why don't we just ban it in a few countries? Because that'd be funny. That'd be good, wouldn't it? I mean, that would, be, <laughs> that would be hilarious. Unsurprisingly, no one found it fucking hilarious and everyone's pissed off. But here's the official, official PlayStation bullshit that they uh, you know, got AI to try fix. Helldiver fans, we've heard your feedback on Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network linking, which I, I have to admit, I don't have a huge problem with it. I think it's a nuisance. I think it's annoying linking your PlayStation account. But if you're going to ban the game in accounts in places that don't accept PlayStation Network, then that's wrong. That is wrong. You know what I mean? Like, that is flipping wrong. So what would require Steam and Net PlayStation for linking for current players will not be moving forward. We're learning the best PC players and new feedback. Uh, we're, we're sorry, we're still learning what is best for PC players and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2 and we'll update you on future plans. Let me backtrack. Unfortunately, it's that simple, you know, meme, what did it cost? Everything. But I'm glad to see that democracy prevails. You know, it's good to see that this big community that they're building and teaching actually turned on them. You know, they almost built like this community, this team of players and gamers so tight knit and connected that they ended up turning on the back on the person who made them. That is just something so beautiful and sweet about it. It just gets my nipples really, 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 really firm. And I couldn't thank the community enough. Me, I didn't leave an angry review or request a refund. Maybe I should have, but I'm just not really a man who gives a shit about anything or anyone. So literally, Hell Divers 2 developers watching suddenly destroy seven years of work and months of critical success in literally <laughs> under one day. <laughs> <laughs> It must be so depressing working on a game and, you know, having the CEO came out and said he basically has no input on it, he can't control what happens, and it's all to do with uh, them. And then just to see your work diminished by pigs in suits in boardrooms complaining that, oh, well, they should log in and create a PlayStation account so we can send them spam emails all year round. Shut up, bro. It's not about that. It's about having good. If I was a PlayStation user, I would not have required account linking for Hilda. Instead, I would have given some free PlayStation character cosmetics to anyone who did link their account. Everyone would have won with almost no drama. See, that is a very, very big brain play, and it just shows you the type of idiots that they have in these sort of positions, things like that. See, that, that you know, this best take so far, PS Lincoln, why why would, you, why would you force someone to do something they don't want to do, and then not give them anything other than a hard time? I mean, it's good they got rid of it, but if they, you know, they, they have literally ruined it. Bitch, it was perfect, but no, you just had to blow it up, you, and your pride, and your ego. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. <laughs> Oh, I love the memes. The memes are fantastic. Sony on a random Friday in May, literally blowing it up and shooting them in the brain. Fuck these guys. Honestly, it's just idiots in suits, isn't it? Corporate people, Sony Corporation, trying to make as much money and make make their sort of footprint as wide as possible. And instead, they've just managed to completely butcher a game. I, I don't think it will butcher, butcher it, but I do think they've lost a couple limbs. You know what I mean? They're probably going to be wheelchair bound. I think a few people will be certainly turned off by this. I'm certainly turned off by this, but it's not really something 
something that you know I have an opinion I'm not a hardcore hell divers player like I've had my fun I've not played it you know recently but it was great fun while I did and I'm glad it was fun but yeah I, I think that I'm gonna leave it there but that, that's just the general mishmash isn't it and I'm glad that you know they backtracked it at the same time I, I understand like why people were annoyed you can't ban it like these were all the countries like that were gonna be banned these were all the countries that were gonna have it banned so it's a good thing that they can actually play the game you know it's a community it's a it's a group of people who want to play this and stop the aliens from invading and shit you know what i mean so i'm glad we f we came together well i'm not part of it but you guys did your job anyway guys good work on everyone who voted you know left bad reviews requested refunds got their money back because sony shouldn't be able to just control shit like this and say well if you want to play our game you have to do this no baby girl no get lost do one boo one good night so yeah well done guys you've you've won the war but the battle this is just a prime example of how to ruin a video game in, in less than 12 hours uh, you know this is a real wake up and a lesson to other uh produce uh you know video game publishers and things like that and i think it will be a uh you know a, sort of a light bulb moment for a lot of them will go actually if gamers stick together and band together then they're gonna um you know they're gonna win also look at this country here have you ever seen a country that is five love hearts just a quick question you know any anyone oh there yeah oh no i can't make my accents i live in yeah it's the it's the country of gays i think <laughs> which i live there by so i'm not laughing at it i live there all right you piece of shit anyway good night thank you i'm stopping bye